Are you guys ready? Yeah! Awesome. Now, you are a part of a RollingWithScience.com presentation. And also, we would, of course, like to welcome you to Fun City Skate. Are you guys excited? Yeah! All right. Now, remember, this is a STEM program. Remember, STEM basically is an acronym for science, technology, and mathematics, exactly, exactly. And you understand that there is a lot of STEM that goes into the designing of skates as well as even the act of skating, okay? And so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at, of course, motion. We're gonna be looking at how things move today, okay? Now, what I wanna introduce you to is I wanna introduce you to basically Newton's top three, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. You're probably thinking, well, who's Newton, right? Okay, now let me tell you who Newton is, all right? Now, now, Isaac Newton, Isaac Newton, in fact, this is like a caricature of him, all right? Now, Isaac Newton was a scientist. Now, he doesn't live today. He, he doesn't live, you know, in our time. But however, he was born uh, in, in 1643, and he died in 1727. He was the most influential scientist in the contributions that he made to um, our lives. And he even created new technology as well, okay? Now remember, technology is not like my phone or, or electronics. Technology is anything that was discovered through science to help our lives better okay, and help us do work. Now, he also did a lot of studies on the speed of sound, and also, he also created a reflecting telescope, all right? Now, understand, there were not, uh, well, cameras back in his day. So they mainly had, of course, not pictures, not photographs, but paintings. And this is kind of what he would look like, okay? But however, this is one of his experiments. Now he realized, in fact, you probably did this at school one time before, but what it is, see, look. You see, he always thought about light. Everybody just go, hmm. He was, he was a big thinker. And you know what? He would think about light. And he was wondering if, if white light has kind of a secret. And you know what? He basically knew whenever the sun was just right, and he had a, a peephole on his front door, and he allowed the sunlight to come in. And as that white light came in on a white sheet, sheet like, a, like a bed sheet, why, it created all the colors of the rainbow. Everybody say, cool. I know it was cool. In fact, he was really amazed at this. And he realized that white light actually, with a prism, can actually be divided into many different colors. And so, from his experiments and from his thinking, why we have some awesome breakthroughs in science, okay? And, and also, um, well, well, look at this. Now, now, look what he's holding. Look what he's holding. He's holding an apple. Everybody say, what's the big deal about the apple? Well, actually, it, it was kind of a big deal. All right. Now, now here's the deal. Now, um, now, where the apple comes into play, because a lot of people, whenever they learn about Isaac Newton, they always think about the apple falling on his head. Now, here's how it goes. He was studying the effects of gravity. And as the story goes, as he was thinking, everybody just go, hmm. He was thinking, and then all of a sudden, an apple fell off the tree and bopped him on the head. And so that's the story of, well, basically, Newton's apple. But i got to be honest with you. We don't really know if that actually happened, because he never really wrote about it. But what we do know is this. Isaac Newton, he was a thinker. Everybody, one more time. Everybody just go, hmm. And he thought about a lot of things, and so the apple was just one of the many things that he 
learned. In fact, he learned that in nature there are laws. Now, wait a second. Now, when I talk about laws, is it possible for someone to break a law? Of course. That's right, exactly. But see, what you and I are thinking about is actually uh, uh, man-made laws. Laws that we have, like for driving and laws how to act in class and, and, you know, not to steal or hurt anybody, okay? But however, Isaac Newton was saying that, I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about natural laws. And so, Isaac Newton, you know what he did? He came up with the three laws of motion, okay? Now, these laws cannot be broken, students. In fact, okay, perfect example. You and I both know this, and you probably tried this, and no one knew about it. But you know what? After you see Superman and you see all those superheroes in the movies that fly, all right, I'm just going to say this. I tried to fly once. Yeah, don't say it. Don't think that you haven't tried it with no one watching, right? But however, here's the deal. I went into my backyard. Shh. No one was looking. You know what I did? I tried to jump in the air to fly. Not, 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 not could I fly? No. No, not at all. Because that's a natural law, right? I can't fly. All right? My body's not built for flying, okay? Now, birds can fly, but that's another story, all right? But however, we are going to be looking at Newton's top three, okay? And I want you to understand, now, some of these laws seem very complicated. Well, let's look at the first law. Everybody say, law number one. Law number one. All right, the first law says this. An object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Mm. The, an object in motion continues in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Hmm. Now, now, let me kind of change it up a little bit right here. All right, now look at this. Now, I kind of made a couple of words bold and I underlined some things. Hmm. Now, wait a second. It said, what are, what are those words that are in bold? Unbalanced force. Unbalanced force. That's right. Now, now, unbalanced force. Now, an object in motion continues in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by a what? Unbalanced force. All right. I need a volunteer, please. I need a volunteer. I need a volunteer. All right. Um, okay. Uh, you know what? Um, You'll do it. Come on up here. All right? Okay. Now, now, first of all, all right, all right here. Here, you stand right here. All right, now, what's your name? Kayla. Kayla. All right. Kayla, you're going to help me out with something. All right? Now, Kayla, now, first of all, we have two different types of skates here. Right? Okay? Now, first of all, look at this. Now, this is a quad skate. All right? Now, remember, the reason why we call it a quad skate is because it has how many wheels? Four. Four wheels. All right, now check this out. What type of skate is this? A rollerblade. Now here's the deal. All right, students, now rollerblade is actually a company that makes this type of skate. This type of skate is actually called an inline skate. Now you know what, you're pretty smart. Why do you think they call it an inline skate? Because the wheels are in line. Awesome, that's right, because they're in line, right? Now how many wheels does an inline skate have? Four. Ah, now, now, now do you think four wheels is kind of important? Of course it is. You know why? Because if you only had two wheels, why the wheels, it would be very unstable. Ah, in fact, we're talking about balance and unbalance. Now, now, Kayla, let me ask you this. All right. Now, one of these skates by themselves is balanced, which means stable. All right, and the other one is unstable or unbalanced. Now, which one is unbalanced by itself? The inline scale, all right, all right, now watch this. If I let go, that's right. You see, it's very unbalanced by itself. Now, because of the placement of the four wheels, it is balanced, you see? But however, the placement of the inline, because they're in a line, now there's four wheels, but however, it's unbalanced. But however, if a skater has two inline skates, 
when they put them on, they can have balance. You understand? Awesome. All right, but however, now, now Kayla, what I want you to do. All right, now look, we're going to look at the first law real quick, all right? Check it out. Now, uh, first of all, what is this skate doing right now? It's standing. It's standing. Is it moving? No. Let's watch it. No, it's not moving, right? In fact, you know what? This is at rest. Oh, check it out. Look. An object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to be the unbalanced force. What I want you to do is I, I want you to knock it off the table. All right? You're an unbalanced force. You know that, don't you? You knocked it off the table. It was doing what it was wanting to do, right? It was just sitting there until Miss Unbalanced Force came along, <laughs> knocked it off. Now, what's it doing right now? It's not in motion. It's not in motion. So it's at rest. <gasps> All right, now pick it up and put it back on the table. <gasps> unbalanced Force, look at that. And now it's at rest. Well, now. Awesome. Hey, thank you very much. Good job. Give her a big hand. That's right. Unbalanced force. All right. Okay. Now, now also, here's the deal. Now, now we are going to do something, okay? I need two volunteers. I need two volunteers. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. You, yeah, why don't you come up here? And also, uh, let's see. All right. I need, uh, why don't you come up here? All right. Okay. Hey, thanks for helping out. All right. Come on up here. All right. Here you go. All right. Okay. Now, what I want you guys to do, all right, here's what you're going to do. This is a rope. Now, however, these are two objects. These are two different ropes. But however, I tied a knot in the middle to kind of hold them there. And by the way, the reason why it's, the knot is holding them is because of friction. We'll talk about that in a minute. But friction is holding these two objects, ropes, in basically uh, uh, together, okay? All right, now what I want you to do is I want you to take this, all right? Now what I want you to do is you're gonna have to hold it, like just kind of hold, get a good grip on it, all right? You come over here, okay? All right, you get on the other side, all right? Okay, all right, now what I want you to do is I want you to pull it to where it's kind of straight, okay? All right, pull it, all right, okay, all right, no, oh, wait, all right, no, wait a second, good job, good job. Now, would you say the rope is balanced or unbalanced? Balanced. Unbalanced? Balance, of course, okay? It is totally balanced, all right? All right, now hold your position, okay? Because here's the deal. What we're going to do is now we're going to play a game, okay? We're going to play a game. In fact, wait a second. All right, oh, for, well, first of all, we got to understand what force is. I forgot about this. All right, now force. Now force is, is basically, all right, now here is the long uh, answer. Now force is the push or pull of an object resulting uh, the object's interaction with another object. Now, we don't have two objects up here, right? We have two people, right? Okay? And so here's the deal. All right, there is force upon each object, all right, when the interaction stops, the two objects no longer experience the force. Forces only exist as a result of interaction. All right, now here's the deal. Hey, all right, now pull it tight. Pull it tight. All right. Okay. Now pull them harder. Oh, 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 did you see that? Okay. All right. Good job. All right. Okay. All right. Relax. All right. See, now there is a relationship between them because they are holding the same rope. Okay. All right. But now I want to, I want to show you this. Now, remember, is the rope balanced or unbalanced? Balanced. All right. Very good. All right. Now what we're going to do. All right, now we're about to play a game. Oh, here, oh, look at it. Oh, uh oh. Oh, no. I think we're going to be playing Force Wars. Yeah. Mm. You're wise with a force. Okay, now I need four volunteers for this one. All right? Four volunteers. All right. Um, 
Okay, you in the green jacket? You in the drink? Yeah, come on up here. Are you? All right. Mm. In the back, come on up here. Yeah. And I'll see you too. All right, good job. Yes. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to get, hey, hey, guys, I'm going to give you something to do, all right? But hold on to it, okay? All right, guys, come over here. Now, I have right here, I have a, uh, I have paddles, all right? You're my paddle ones, all right? Okay. All right, here we go. All right, now, now, here you are. Now, I want you to understand, now, here's the deal. Now, on one side, there is B, all right? All right? And now, on the other side is un. Now, what does un stand for? Unbalanced. Unbalanced. Exactly. All right. So, what we're going to do right here, we're going to figure out, you're going to have to go and figure out if it's balanced or unbalanced, okay? Here is your paddle. All right. Okay. So, you ready? All right. Now, here's the deal. All right. Wait a second. Wait. 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 All right. All right. Wait a second. All right. Okay, all right, okay, all right, rope guys, do your thing, all right? All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, play tug of war, tug of war, back and forth. All right, all right oh, okay, all right, oh, 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 man, man, all right, all right, oh, oh, yeah, okay. All right. Paddle ones, balanced or unbalanced? All right, is, is it unbalanced? Yes. yes, because he's playing tug of war, okay? All right, now, all right, all right, now, all right, there you go, rest, all right. Now, is this balanced or unbalanced? Balanced. All right, show me, all right, okay, but now, watch this. All right, now hold it kind of tight, both of y'all. All right, now let's see if you can show me what this is. All right, you got it? All right. All right. Mm. Is this <laughs> balanced or unbalanced? Unbalanced. Good job. Hey, let's give him a big hand. Good job. Oh, y'all can go. Awesome. Thank you. Y'all can go down.